So, I've got some pretty amazing information to share with you guys today. And this is something I've wanted to hear for a very long time, considering I've been playing Ark Survival Evolved for over three years. Now I know a lot of people have stopped playing Ark or had a break from it because of the broken features in the game and you know the lagging and loads of different bugs and stuff. But today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the next generation Ark. Now this is a really interesting thing that is going to be happening for 2019 guys. So before we get into this, if you guys are hyped about this, make sure to smash a like on today's video as always. Let's try and hit over that 1000 like target again as always. That has been amazing and be subscribed if you don't want to miss out on all the Ark Survival Evolve news and Atlas which is obviously the game coming out very soon. So Wildcard actually posted up a new community crunch not that long ago and it was titled the future of arc and in this post they actually said the next generation arc and talking about it how they're actually going to revamp the game for 2019 they also talk about how they really want to now add in features into the game which have they've been talking about for years and they just haven't got round to doing that such as s plus obviously as you guys know we've had the first installment of that and also the kibble rework which was something they've been talking about for so long and finally this is all getting worked on. It's not just that stuff, there's loads of other stuff and we're going to be talking about that later on to do with features. But the first thing I'm going to be talking about today is what this whole the next generation thing actually is. So what I'm loving about this next generation arc is that Wildcard have split most of their team into different sections. So they've got one massive team that is planning to fix the game, quality of life improvements, everything throughout 2019. Now I generally have faith that this is going to be fantastic from the game and when we next play it in a year's time I think it's going to be so much different because of how they're actually structuring the company right now. Then they've got a separate team working on um, getting the event up which is Winter Wonderland, the new Christmas event and, and then obviously releasing other events throughout 2019 and then they have other teams working on so much other things such as new TLCs but I'll move on to that later and load of other features. Now as you guys know the bugs and problems in the arc is so bad and I know there's a massive graphical issue going on with the game and that is what they want to do with this game. They want to take it a step forward. I don't, I mean, I believe Ark has made changes, but a lot of the devs have actually moved over to Atlas, and Wildcard have, and well, if you don't know what Atlas is, it's a brand new game, which is like made by the creators of Ark, and I feel like loads of the demotivated devs have moved over to for a new challenge, and Wildcard have brought in new people to really be motivated to get this game perfect, because I don't feel like they believe sometimes how much potential this game has because you can already see how successful it is and that is why I really cannot wait for this whole game revamp. Now, I know a lot of people are talking about Arc 2, and that is definitely going to be on the back burner for a very long time. I think they're going to be sticking to getting this sorted, and I am going to be reading through to you guys right now the full thing of what they've been talking about with the next generation of Arc. Given the Atlas announcement, I wanted to stop by and share some additional insight into where we're heading and what's going on with Ark throughout the next few months and into 2019. The Ark team is as big as it's ever been. It's been made up of key members behind Early Access, Scorched Earth and Aberration, hires from the mod community from Primitive Plus, The Center and Ragnarok, and seasoned veterans with experience on working on other different games, TLC2, Archaeology, Extinction Chronicles, Small Tribes, Enforcement, and yes of course, Extinction were built with this team. One of the more exciting things to us is that we found ways to bring new, different ideas to Ark while being continuing to refine and expand on other things that made this game a hit. From the dynamic components of the archaeology event to the brand new mechanics created for the orbital supply drops and tameable titans from extinction. Currently the Ark team is hard at work at resolving issues introduced when extinction was released. Different item bugs, creature balance, Introducing the uh, the um, including the tech and mech sorry o OSD um, balance 
graph a console graphical graphical quality and stability as you guys know is what i was talking about earlier the issues related to the dev kit as well in addition we've carved out key members of the team to tackle long-standing desires that players have wanted for so long starting with s plus and the rework of the kibble tree now, if you haven't seen my S Plus videos, I recommend you go check them out because it'll explain exactly how it's going to work. But if I was to talk about it very quickly here, Wildcard are finding the best and most useful and most popular parts of S Plus and slowly adding them over time. I can't give you a release date on that yet, but hopefully we will be getting as much S Plus added to the console as, as we can really, because um, the reason why we can't have the full mod is because it would just crash the console and then we'd be in even bigger trouble. So that's why S Plus isn't being added in as a full mod because it's not all compatible with the console. A few members of the team are tackling Winter Wonderland and the awaited return of Raptor Claws due next week and that's next week's update. As we wrap up this wave of work, more and more members of the ARC team will be moving on to tackling quality of life issues and bugs. Now this is the next very interesting bit which is the change and the move around for next year to make this game great because I know it already is fantastic but it's just literally missing that thing and that is what everyone says all the time which is fixing the game. We love Ark as much as you do and we're very excited for all of the possibilities that lay before us. Heading into the new year, we will begin to plan what's next and determine the best steps for the game and content, um, you know, from what they believe is great and what players will enjoy. And that's what I love about that, because I think you always have to listen to what the community wants to have the best reaction, if you understand what I mean. Rest assured, whether it's more TLC, new DLC, new mechanics or new modes, we will be continuing to support Arc through 2019. Beyond that, we're starting early discussions internally about what the next generation of art could look like, but it's, very, it's a little too early to talk about that here. We'd like to thank everyone for their long-standing support, and we look forward to the adventure ahead. Keep on surviving from Chris. So Wildcard want to know what this is going to look like. They, they're they currently debating the vision of the game. Now this is going to come to different, um, what they want it to look like in graphic wise, um, what, they, what types of new stuff they want to add into. And this is so exciting right now. We're going to enjoy Ark as it is right now with the Christmas event coming up. We've got Atlas coming up, so that's going to be a separate game we can enjoy. But throughout 2019, for me, there's so much excitement, more than there's ever been before, to really find out what we've got in store for this game. Because we all, you know, I don't want to look on, you know, the Twitter for Ark anymore and everyone just replies, fix the game. Is this game still broken? When's this going to be fixed? When's that going to be fixed? We really want it to be perfect and I believe now that people you know some of the devs have moved on to Atlas now they're working on something they're more motivated on and there's new motivated people in the company this is where I believe Ark is going to finally take the potential that it's got and move on to be even more successful than it is right now I think it's fantastic that we've got Ark and Atlas together and I'm going to be doing a video on Atlas very soon because I've got news on when it's going to be coming to the console but it doesn't sound like it's going to be great news for players on the PS4 just like it started off with Ark on the Xbox it took longer to come to the PS4 because Sony don't like doing any previews and stuff which I just don't understand but that is interesting. Now really that is going to be the whole video, I just wanted to let you guys know about how ARK is just not going to be the same next year, and that is a good thing. It's going to be the same in the sense of what you do and what you play, but it is going to be a revamped, better version, and I really hope Wildcard finally take upon them to make you know to bring us and make this game what we've all wanted from years now it's been so long dealing with this this and they can obviously see from that how much we love this game anyway if you guys did enjoy today's video as always make sure to smash a like subscribe if you are new to the channel we do have an update coming out next week as i mentioned earlier which is the christmas winter wonderland event Christmas is getting closer guys, it's getting a lot colder outside and I'm very excited to see this new event. Thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you guys later.